The little engine you see in front of you is a 70s era Honda XL75. It belongs to a friend of mine who asked me to take a look at it. He bought the little bike a few years ago, I believe, and was told by the previous owner that the engine wasn't quite right. So my, my buddy, my friend, um, I think he played around a little bit, and one of the things he discovered is the engine doesn't doesn't always turn over completely and there's there's a catch in it or it locks up a little bit and uh, so he asked me to take a look at it. So he pulled the motor and uh, here it is. My suspicion, I haven't done really anything to it, I pulled the spark plug out of it, but my suspicion is probably one of two things or combination. One is the cam chain adjuster. Um, let me back up a moment. I believe this engine was worked on also a few years ago by the previous owner or the previous owner had someone work on it. And either they uh, didn't get the cam chain adjuster and there's a shoe in here that presses against the chain like this. And either they didn't get the adjuster put back together correctly and or they didn't get the valve timing correct and there might be an interference of some kind. I'm going to start by checking the a cam chain adjuster and the valve timing before I start disassembling the motor. It's possible I might have to pull this all the way down to the block and get inside there a little bit and see what's going on. Uh, that's my suspicion. But until I get a chance to really uh, fiddle around a little bit, uh, those are just suppositions on my part. But I'm, I'm willing to bet I'm probably pretty close given the, the symptoms it displays right now. Here's the uh, Here's a stator. This mounts behind uh, the flywheel right here. The previous owner took it off and he sent it along. Uh, I asked him to send all the parts of the motor along. And no, so normally you wouldn't see this. This uh, contains the points, points plate and lighting coils and that kind of thing. You can see right here. Uh, that uh, I will not necessarily have to remount that for what I'm going to do. I might as part of the, the process of putting it back together, I might put that back and, and get it back in place. But that's incidental for what I'm going to be doing to the motor. i got to pull the flywheel off, which, is, by the way, is already loose. Just spin this nut off. I can pull this off and get inside of this motor a little bit and figure out what's going on with the, the valve timing uh, and verify, in fact, that's the problem. I thought I'd show the inside of the, of the head. I pulled the, the cover off. I typically would sit like that. I just pulled those two bolts loose here that you can see. Pull the cover off. You can see the cam chain right here. Uh, it's a single overhead cam so you've got one one cam that sits in like this. It actuates the exhaust valve on this side and the intake valve over here on this side. And this is the chain the cam chain that's driven from a sprocket and the off the crankshaft and lower end of the motor. So, as I indicated a moment ago, I'm going to check the tensioner. It's, again, it's, it's a shoe that sits in there and pushes. I'll illustrate this a little bit better. It's a curved shoe that sits in here and pushes against the chain. And there's a, there's a cam in here, a little cam in here that puts pressure on the chain. And um, if I get into the, into the end up uh, pulling the cylinder off and you get into that kind of detail I'll probably make a video and show that in more detail when I get a chance but depending on what I have to get into you can see as I turn it over you can see that bolt is not original it's, an, it's a different or new bolt com compared to this one which you can see there it probably is the original bolt and uh, my first thought when I look at these bolts and how I know the timing works I think it's off at least one tooth on the on the valve timing of the chain. I suspect that, but I'm going to have to verify that. And the reason I say that is there's a little O marked right here. I don't know how well that shows up. And when that's at, at the very top, these two bolts should be level. And with my camera here, I'm not sure. It's the first time I've really looked at it, but I suspect it might be off by a notch or two. So. We'll get into that and we'll figure it out, but uh, if that doesn't prove to be the problem, I'm going to have to get into some other things in the cylinder here. Here's an up-close look at the, the motor. You can see the serial number down here. Even though it might look complicated, it's a relatively simple motor compared to 
many newer designs that are double overhead cams and multiple cylinders and those kind of things.